Hello, today's update will be on the ReadyCheck Go testing program. So from the Dixon website, we're going to click on this link. It's going to redirect us to the COVID testing uh, website. You can see here uh, it has uh, two options. I am registering for online on-site testing or I am activating a home kit. So the purpose of this is for on-site testing, which you see here. Uh, we have a couple of different options uh, for staff. For students 18 years or older and for students under 18. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit here and we have two different options. I am a teacher or a staff member and I am a student or parent or guardian. So I'm going to click on this one here and we're going to search for our community which is Dixon. So I'm going to type that in this box and I'm going to click on Dixon student. Once I do that I'm going to be um, directed to a page to register for COVID tests. So I'm going to click on uh, for a minor or a guardian. I'm going to ask you some uh, screening questions here. So you will answer those questions appropriately. Uh, click continue. Again, another uh, screening question. Answer the question appropriately. Click continue again. And now you're going to have the opportunity to register. So click on continue. Uh, you're going to have some important information here, so uh, review the information that they have listed here. And you're going to have to give consent, so you'll check this box here. And you'll scroll down a little bit further, and there's going to be one more box that we're going to have to check uh, uh, to consent or authorize. So once you find that box, you're going to click that, and you're going to click on Continue. Uh, you will then be asked to put the patient's information in, which is a student. You'll put in their first, last name, their date of birth, um, their address, city, state, and zip code. And then it's going to ask for an organization ID number. Here's where you will uh, place the student ID number. You can find the student ID number either on the child's report card, um, progress report, or on parent portal. So you'll put the information there. Uh, this, this is some gender identifying information. You will fill that in. Uh, this is the next important part. So as a parent or guardian, uh, they require you to enter your information. So your first name, your last name, your telephone number and your email address so that you can be notified as soon as the results are in. So you will enter that information, uh, agree to those terms and click continue. Um, at this point, this is as far as it will allow me to go. Um, but after you complete this particular portion, you will be registered for weekly COVID testing for your student or for yourself. Uh, thank you again for checking out this update.